This is a new rolling road uh, from RM Racing, which I'm just about to demonstrate to you. Um, now, talking through the, the, the unit itself, um, it's a fairly basic um, setup where you have um, uh, power from the transformer, scale electric transformer coming in. Um, you plug that into uh, the side here, uh, and then basically you can turn the, the power on um, on this button here. Um, this next button allows you to turn the um, power that goes to the track for running up the cars. And then also you've got the uh, 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 knob here for um, setting the RPM of the car when you're running it on, on the unit. Um, you've got basically a roller here where the um, rear wheels of the scale electrics or slot car will uh, run on um, and that will then provide you with an RPM readout. Um, and then on the other side of the unit, you can, you can slide this to um, its um, back position um, and it allows you then to true up <coughs> tyres on, on the unit, which I'll explain in a bit. And then finally, you've got um, a quick connection for um, testing motors and clamping motors in this unit here. So uh, now I'm just going to demonstrate how to run up a car on, on the unit. So you basically place the, the uh, pickup of, of the car in, in this slot here um, and it needs to be set up so that the rear wheels are directly above the roller, not forward or set up backwards, but um, set so they actually sit um, directly above the roller. Um, you can set the rear peg so you can um, allow the adjustment on the back. I'll probably put it on that setting. And then <clears throat> also the front can be um, moved forward. Um, you don't want this pushing up really tight, but uh, um, all you do is you just turn this, this, this um, knob here and then um, it allows you to, to adjust this and slide it into the correct position. So um, you just turn that, lock that up and then that will give it just a slight amount of play, but that, that will be about right for, um, for running up the car. <clears throat> So the power is already on on this unit. Um, we next then uh, basically we turn the RPM down to start off with. We turn the track on and then you can actually set the RPM on here. And that will read out the RPM that the roller is doing um, and for, for the car at the moment. But you can actually then run that up uh, at different speeds. It'll get loud as we uh, do that. But, uh, Just turn it back down again so you can hear me talk. You, you'll notice on the, on the moment you'll see that the, um, the back of the car is, is wobbling around quite a lot in this, this instance. Um, at quite low RPM um, and that tells me that um, either the wheels or the tyres are out of alignment um, and so the trick is really to, to get it so those tyres and wheels run true. Um, and then the car will sit really nice and firmly on the track um, and, and it will be much more stable as it, it goes around the track. Um, and you can do <coughs> various tests with this, I'll show you that in a bit to, to set, set sort that out. Um, so that's really um, the main function of um, running up the cars. Um, if you're running at a certain RPM, you can then turn it off at that RPM do some work to the car, set it back on again, and then run it back up at that same RPM and you can see how it behaves. So that's basic um, explanation of how the, the car can be run up on, on the unit. I'm now going to demonstrate um, how you can set up the car on the units uh, without any rear tyres on, so you can just see how the, the wheels behave. Um, and so basically you can set these adjusters in because you don't want these wheels touching the roll because they'll score it. Uh, but you can set the, these adjusters in and then run the car um, off, off the uh, roller uh, like so. And in doing this um, you can run it without the wheels on there and also um, then you can test to see whether the axle is running true. You can run it at various RPMs. So if I just run that up like so, um, you can see you can run, run the car up. And what uh, one method of truing 
the wheels up is to use uh, a nail file or a fine needle file and run that on the surface of the, uh, the wheels and then you can take out any um, imperfections in them if they're not running true. And it allows you to look to see if the gear is running nice and smoothly in there as well and that can be run up at different speeds as well. Just one uh, final point to, to note, note on that when you're running the car off the roller, um, like so, you won't actually get an RPM reading uh, because it's not actually turning the roller itself. So, um, but then it's it's really to allow you to be able to just check the axles running true and also correct any imperfections in the wheels. I'm now going to show you um, basically how you can, can run up the motor on um, from the car on this unit. So basically if you pop out the, the wires um, that connect to the brushes, some cars have different configuration of connecting these wires to the brushes but in principle they work the same. If you remove them from the, the brush end it allows you some leads on the motor still. And then in this car you just pop out the, um, the motor like so. The, the main chassis to one side and then these connectors um, you need to pop into the, um, the, the fast connector unit like so And then the motor can be clamped in this unit here. This this motor mount isn't a isn't a, a workbench for general work. It is just for setting, you know, holding motors, um, and um, so you can just see how they run, and then um, do any, you know, if you need to put oil in them to, to make them run freer, then that can be done. So you can sort of run in your motors here as well. So you can basically stick your motor in, run it at different RPM. Um, for a period of time until it's until the motor is running and performing to its best. So all you do is you turn the track on and you can hear the motor spinning straight away. Again, because because it's not running on the roller, you won't get an RPM readout. But um, you can run the motor. Through its um, RPM range, obviously, um, you know, don't over rev your motor or burn it out. Um, but um, you can run it and boil the bearings um, so it runs freer. I'm now going to show you how to um, to true up the wheels that were the tyres on on the car on on this um, grip paper. But um, first point to note is that um, you do have to remove um, the. the connectors from here because uh, you cannot run the motor and the track at the same time so just remove um, the terminals from there and then that isolates the motor um, so it's now possible to run the, the car from the main track. So the track is turned off at the moment um, so it's best to, to turn the RPM down um, initially. Uh, move move the, uh, the slider forward and then that now gives you full access to the, the slot for running the car. So uh, basically as, as before, put the pickup in, in the groove um, and then that should be uh, ready for them doing truing up the tyres. Now there's a bit of an art to this but um, basically what you have to do is, is lift um, the back of the car off of the grip paper uh, and then turn the track on. <coughs> Give it, give it some RPM and then basically rest the rear wheels and move the car from side to side on the sandpaper uh, to, to then true the wheels. So I'll run it up a bit noisy now. And that's basically how you true up the wheels and uh, you will then see that a consistent um, 
consistent uh, sort of smoothness across the, the wheel as well. Uh, that one still needs a little bit more work done on it, but um, it's looking much better. Uh, you'd have to do that a few times to get the, um, as I say, to get them really nice and true. And then it's possible then to um, to test the uh, trueness of it um, by putting the car back on the on the rollers, put the front in the groove again, adjust the front slider, just leaving a slight amount of play, and then um, we start it up. It's still running a bit untrue this because I've only just run it on the, the, the grip paper um, for a short period of time and the, it looks to me like this wheel is actually out anyway. Um, it's probably not totally just the um, the, the tyre itself. So um, some more work to be doing on that to get it to run nice and um, nice and smoothly. So I'm now just going to explain the transformers to use with uh, the um, rolling road. Uh, there's three types of transformers you can use. This is the C912 transformer. There's two others that you can use, a C990 or a P9200 uh, made by Hornby or Scale Electrics. We haven't provided the, the um, transformers with the unit because uh, um, you're more likely to have one with your um, with your set already so it's, it's so that you, we keep the cost down of the unit to you also one other thing to say is that um, with the uh, with with the unit this is for testing analog slot cars and scale electrics cars uh, it's not for use with uh, uh, micro digital or drift slot or scale electrics cars so um, it's as I say it's for, for testing analog cars um, and I explained to you earlier that um, you, you plug the, uh, the transformer in the side for, for powering the unit.